Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I hate myself right now. I am starting to do this dumb series that I don't even know why I'm doing it, but, um, actually, maybe this guy should go. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. And this is the series where I take out all the good cards from the deck and put in all the bad cards. So, yeah, we're just gonna put in Phage because it's terrible. And I can drop this decent card. Okay. So now let's get started. Crippling Blight is an okay card. There's just, <laughs> like if you look here, there's really nothing that is uh, is worse. Maybe Befoul is worse, but I can't really I can't really make that decision on my own, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so we're running Double Crippling Blight. Fume Spitter's alright as well, and so is Blister Beetle. Like, all these cards are okay. Um, but anyway, Exsanguinate's terrible. Um, my, it'll probably win me a couple of games through this series, though. Um, and then Jet Medallion's pretty good. Sign and Blood obviously decent like <laughs> the deck actually doesn't look terrible right now it's just like there's some bad cards in it but like eh. i mean it's then you get to like nested ghoul which is god awful and then like this nightwing shade which is terrible rise from the graves okay Velborn ghouls are just terrible um nightmare incursions awful phage is awful and then it's just like why am i running plague wind i can be running reaver demon which is a mana cheaper and it does the same thing <laughs> but anyway um this deck's pretty terrible it's not i mean it's not like i can't win any games with it but this is just how i would build the deck if i wanted to make it as badly as possible which is what i'm doing if if i didn't explain it well enough uh in my last video my peacekeepers deck guide and i guess it probably won't be my last video at this point i think i've seen this guy around so he's gonna be like what are you doing dice show <laughs> but um in my, in my peacekeepers deck guide i mentioned something about trying to build the worst 60 as possible and um then uh people were just like oh my god daisha you have to do it now <laughs> and uh and that's what i'm doing so this hand's pretty decent got a fume spitter some early early game removes and then uh dread warlock and warpath ghoul hell yeah zombie tribal no he's a human wizard i don't know he just seems like a zombie I guess if you look at the picture, he really seems like a wizard. But um, like these are just the, the thing about Obedient Dead is it's such a good deck that you wanted to run all these cards anyway, except for Warpath Ghoul. You never wanted to run that card. You wanted to run a bunch of these cards anyway. You just couldn't really do that. But he's probably playing. If he's playing Pack and even if he's playing um, Ancient Wilds, actually, uh, there's no way that I'm winning this game. But like, I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty normal start. Like, he could say, okay, whatever, he's playing Fume Spitter, that's fine. Um, a lot of people play Fume Spitter. And then I'm going to play Dread Warlock. Oh, well, maybe he's trying something out new. It's not like it's a bad card or anything. Um, then I'm going to drop Warpath Ghoul, and he's going to be like, okay, there's something wrong here. Daisho, are you under distress? <laughs> is there somebody with a gun to your head right now? And there pretty much is, and I'm really sad. But, okay, so as far as winning this game goes... He's going to play a big creature, and then my hopes and dreams will be dashed. But, he's on a 9 turn clock! <laughs> Unless he's got a prey upon, in which case I am just screwed. But, um, yeah, that Leatherback Bail is going to kill me pretty quickly. Oh my god, I drew Phage the Untouchable! Hell yeah! Um, I guess I still attack. Maybe. <laughs> um... I could just, oh yeah, I could actually just kill that thing with my Warpath Ghoul. Because it's going to be a 3-2, so I can just sacrifice Fume Spitter to make his guy a 3-4, and then they'll trade. No, they won't trade. What am I talking about? <laughs> bad math, I show, bad math. I repeat, terrible, terrible math. Do not do that. <laughs> Man, I wish this guy could block. But he cannot. I guess he doesn't really want to attack if he doesn't have another creature as backup. Or even if he does and he's afraid of like a removal spell, which I don't have in this deck. Although I could draw a Crippling Blight. That'd be kind of nutso. And then, because then I can swing back for six and then like, I'm, oh, come on! Really? <laughs> it was fair before that, but now, now it's just, God. Pro black guy. Okay, you know what? Fine. I can fight that. I can just draw my... Because that'll w help me win the game. All I need to do is just play the... And then I'll be fine. Yeah, no, there's nothing in my deck that can save me from that thing. I'll lose in like two turns right now. But... Attack! There's no more Icy Manipulator. That's what I usually run to deal with that bro. Um, that and Master Move, like a Mutilate, I guess Infest does not work. But... Yeah. 
unfortunate. This game has just not gone my way. Um, I guess maybe I can still win? If I draw like Exsanguinate, and then Exsanguinate the next turn, like, I'm only exsanguinating for four, but maybe that's good enough. Because if he just pumps out this turn, then he doesn't get to play another guy, and then I can swing in with the team. And he just blocks and then swings back and kills me. So I'll leave Fume Spitter back to block. Oh, what? He did that in the wrong order. You do that first, and then you double the power and toughness, and then your guy just becomes absolutely huge gigantic. That was so terrible. Like now, I just feel bad about losing because I mean, maybe he just made the mistake, but that was that was god awful. It's as bad as it gets. But now I'm just dead next turn, unless I draw a crowbat of blight. Yes, now everybody gets in. Charge! Let's just try to win in case we drew Xang win 8 this turn. So that's 2, 5, uh, 9, 10. So if he didn't block and I drew Xang win 8 this turn, then I could have won. I guess I probably shouldn't have played the Swamp first main phase and all, but you know what? I'm bad. Oh, now I can kill this thing with the Fume Spitter. Whee! <laughs> um, so this would actually be the play if he didn't have a Primal Bellow. And honestly... No, I'd still be so dead right now. But yeah. I mean, Chameleon Colossus is just better than the mono black deck ever. But I think instead of um instead of like ender ranked, I'm going to like try to keep playing until I win a game, but instead of just winning one game because you can always win one game with luck, I'm going to try like winning two games in a row. Like how does that sound? So, um with this series, I have to play through with every deck. I have to build the worst 60 possible, and uh, I have to win two games in a row. And these are ranked matches, by the way. I this is like if I thought End Ranked was trying to give up my my good ranking, this de this uh, this series is just gonna blow that out of the water. And I can't even get angry in this series because I'm expecting to lose every game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and uh, let me know what you think of this series idea. Have a wonderful day. Bye.